Hello friends, gals, and non-binary pals. So it's almost 12 a.m. on the last day of February. So actually, it is 11.45. So it's about to be 28. It's about to be the 28th of February, which means that I want to start this new reading vlog. I've been trying to do a little bit of reading recently, okay? It has been doing pretty well. Oh, by the way, if you listen to stuff, um, I'm currently listening to Cozy Spring Coffee Shop Ambiance with relaxing jazz music and Rain Sounds by Defeatedly by Autumn Sounds Autumn Autumn Cozy. Yeah, I'll leave it in the description just like last time. But anyway, I have a lot to do this week. And uh, one of those things that I have to do, I've decided that actually includes reading a lot. So uh, Friday night, Sunday, 5 a.m., like literally Friday night, I went to my friends and then I broke up with my boyfriend. And I fell asleep at 5 a.m. So I'm really tired, as you can kind of imagine, because I woke up like at 11 or 12 p.m. today. So I didn't really get eight hours of sleep. But I'm feeling so much more at ease now, I'm not feeling stressed anymore. Um, I had a really tough time trying to break up with him because he just wouldn't understand that I wanted to break up and that I just couldn't be in the relationship anymore. So yeah, that was a little bit exasperating. But um, so today was a very good day for my reading, actually. I've been listening to the audiobook of Day by Day Armageddon, which is basically just a zombie apocalypse book about this military guy, I guess, who whose New Year's resolution is quite literally to start a journal and just and a, a very scary virus from China starts turning people into zombies and then the virus gets into the United States and it's just kind of, I'm not really loving it. But I want to train myself into getting into audiobooks, so that's going to be the best bet I have right now. So I'm just pushing through it for the sake of having my brain get used to listening to audiobooks. The protagonist is so unlikable in my opinion, like so unlikable. He's surviving, and he's thriving, that's fine, but like he's not really likable, so I really don't care what happens to him. And like the things he's going through are pretty tough, but still he was unlikable in the beginning. Besides, I feel like the zombie apocalypse is just is just happening way too quickly. Like, within the first month, is already like desolate country, no survivors kind of thing. You know, the pacing is fine, but I mean, like the days, it it's super quickly how everything's going. Not completely a fan, but we're pushing through. Uh, what else? I haven't read anything from Hundred Years of Solitude because I've just been so busy stressing out. <laughs> So yeah, there's none of that. However, I did not start, but I put my bookmark in because I intended to start Devil in the White City by Eric Larson, which is basically like historical fiction about H.H. H. Holmes. And I finally looked it up, you know, because I knew that I knew that I that there was something that pulled me into this book for me to have for me to want to buy it in the first place. And it was H.H. H. Holmes. So H.H. H. Holmes owned a hotel, it was literally a hotel of death, so you came in there and never came back alive because he built the hotel specifically to kill people. And he's just a historical figure who I am so fascinated by because like how could a person think of such atrocious things to do? And why would he, and why would he be satisfied with that? Like, I don't know, but it's just really fascinating to look into people's psyches. So yeah, I haven't started this, but I was intended to, I intended to start it until my nephew came along because we had to take care of him today. So like, had uh, he had to fall asleep at some point and I was the one tasked with making him fall asleep as always. And actually the reason that I wanted to start the reading vlog early before I fell asleep is that I am currently reading my teacher's essay book and sorry my teacher's essay book and i am currently like really enjoying it i thought i was gonna finish it in one day that's why i started tonight because i wanted to read this book 
and finish day by day Armageddon tomorrow. I can get a little bit into other things, maybe actually start Birth of Tragedy or just like go a couple of pages into 100 Years of Solitude or The Devil in the White City or something, just like get a little more progress, you know, get my groove on with reading, but I'm just really enjoying this so far. I've been reading it for like about an hour and I've just gotten to page 40 something, 40? I'm really in page 40 uh, and this is 160 pages but it's just I'm finding a lot of insightful things in here this is a note that I, it was literally the first page and I already had a note and like he's hilarious it's just it's just fun to to read him it's fun to dive into his essays because he's got this humorous approach I really appreciate it because the topics don't feel at all heavy and just even though it's it's even though he's he's a literate um he found a literature club i think so like you can expect this to have a lot of metaphors and allegories and just a lot of very profound thoughts as well as just like eloquence and density and it's just really well constructed i believe so i'm really like i'm not pulling it apart just yet but I am tapping my favorite moments and um, I even tapped a favorite essay to come back and read whenever I feel like I'm bored or when I want to get out of a reading slump and I am writing in it a little bit as well. That is all that I'm actually doing at the moment. So I'm just going to go to sleep right now because like I can't bear my soul anymore. I gotta clean up in here. <laughs> So I'll just give you a, a little tour of what I did to my desk. So I changed my lamp from here to over there. I don't know why, just simply kind of I wanted to <laughs> put my face masks right there so that they're easy access. Um, so in here, I put I put my candles right at the back there because I thought it was a little practical. Um, these are my CDs and my one five seconds of summer DVD um, of their how did we of of their live on Wembley when they were live on Wembley. Then I have my other CDs, which um, all of them I bought during one trip to the United States when I went to see them live. You know, five seconds of summer like five years ago. <laughs> I have a couple of self care things in this little box, so. You see like this is a herbal ah, this is an herbal tonic which helps soothe you know muscles and stuff we have a lot of essential oils um I got, we have two sprays in here and we have a uh, lip balm and uh this little liquid for the temples so that you know your head stops hurting got a couple of knickknacks in here and my dongle right there um below got a couple of papers and a couple of spare notebooks uh post-its a usb and a couple of staples i guess uh here are a few cards that i got from like hair salons and stuff and well my wallet my coffee <laughs> then these things are like little they're to prop up like your phone or your ipad so you can watch stuff more easily so i'm just gonna keep them there i got vaseline right there and a face mask um also got my books the books that i am currently reading or that i want to get to like as soon as possible so of course we got this spokes are at the by nietzsche which of course i'm dropping but um it's the kind of one to keep in here and i'll add birth of tragedy in here soon enough i've got 100 years of solitude i got the hobbit which i dnf'd twice before 
but I really want to get through it because I just think I wasn't in the right headspace to read The Hobbit. I got The Devil in the White City. I've got El Mundo de Sofia, which is a book, I think, by a Norwegian author about philosophy. And it's a book that was very popular here. And I got uh, Les Miserables, but this is in play form, so that's why it's so short. Then I've got my teacher's essay book, which I'm currently reading, and my Charles Dickens anthology. And here is my definitions notebook in Spanish and in English. Um, I have a couple of post-its and some little arrow page flags, uh, tabs, sticky tabs. Then I've got a piece of tape and my... This is like a wine glass that my, my sister-in-law gave me. And here I've got a couple of pens and a highlighter. It's a Muji. It's a uh, zebra mind liner. Um, a couple of pens. This is my annotating kit, which I will take with me later on. This is a cup with a bunch of little Crayola markers. Um, this is my little extension where I charge my phone and stuff. And my glasses. And this is going to be like my nightstand, so I just put things for easy access, like my reading journal, my the, what, the thing that I'm using as a bullet journal, and this is a little cover for my uh, external hard drive and these are just some earphones that I really like um, and these are my things for for online schooling um, for homeschooling so this is my school ID uh, my number two pencil and just a little eraser so yeah this is what I did it's done 45 a.m. sorry well today's Sunday finally fucking Sunday and I've been listening to Day by Day Armageddon all morning, you know, while I made my breakfast and like cleaned in here and stuff. And I am already halfway through the audiobook, which means I only have around three hours and a half to listen to it. And I'm not tweaking the speed because one, the app that I'm using doesn't let me tweak the speed. And two, just, I don't know, I, I really want to get used to it. I'm planning to finish that today and also finish, oops. I also finished my teacher's essay book because it's so interesting, as I probably have told you yesterday already. A couple of my tabs include, he's got double meaning in one of his sentences, and I thought it was like super cl super clever, so I tabbed it and decided to just kind of remember that. I feel like it is very important to note that I also moved the bookshelf and stuff over here to like over there. And I very, very much would like to start filming over here, but I don't know how that would work. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see. But I really, really like the way that it came along. Um, I also just like put in some things about the schooling over here. Um, I moved a couple of things over there because they were very, like, um, it was some extra space that I liked. So, um, it was very practical. Uh, what else? Oh, I also unframed this picture because the frame was taking up a little bit too much space and I like the picture, so. Also, um, yeah, well, yeah, I moved the lamp to over here instead because I like it here and I might have to get rid of the, of the thing here. Of the thing. Ah, what's it called? I might have to get rid of the painting. It's a fake painting, but it's, I, I think I have to get rid of it. Um, maybe I'll put it in my room or something. I don't know. Uh, I also moved, instead of having the, my notebooks just laying around here, I said that this would be my language little, my little language corner. And, um, yeah. This is for German. This is for, uh, Korean. These are for French. This is also for Korean. Maybe I should just move it here. And this is just a drawing notebook that I use for calligraphy and for drawing. So, yeah, there's that. And... Yeah, today was a very nice day for organizing, and the dog just kind of decided that he wanted to lay here. He's so clingy. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I also moved my my couch to the other wall. I know it kind of, I mean, I don't use that closet, so it's fine if it's right there. And either way, like, if I needed to open up the closet, I could just move it over here, and there wouldn't really be a problem. Also, this, I'm using it because I was organizing the books on the upper shelf. So yeah, um, there's that.
And right now I think I'm going to make a reading. Um, I think it's going to be a reading spread, a reading page, a reading stats page here on my Notion. So I've already finished my reading stats notion page so I always wanted to have like a notion page so that I could keep track of everything that I'm reading basically because it is a little I don't know it's a lot easier to start typing up the notes on my phone and type them directly onto the notion page than just like try to look for the notebook or um or yeah, or just sometimes when I finish annotating a book, I would love to just transfer everything to the Notion page and I think it'll be a lot easier for the wrap up that I'm trying to do this month. Oh my God, my eyes are getting teary because there's a lot of dust in here and I don't clean up because I'm a little bit lazy. But anyway, again, drinking green and ginger tea, which I'm about to run out of and it's one of my favorite teas. So I'll just have to get some more. But anyway, um, here, as you can see by the Notion page I'm currently recording, um, this is, I really like the header that I chose. I recently, I just chose it basically and leaving my reading stats. So what I decided to do is organize, sort this by month and then sort it by the rating. So the first, if I were to read a book in March, um, okay, hang on, this is, okay, I gotta, I gotta fix this uh, month. December. Okay. If I were to finish the book in March, because what I'm going off of in here is the date that I finished the book. So if I were to finish uh, 100 Years of Solitude in March, it would go right up to the very top of the page. If I was to read a book in, I don't know, March or April or something, um, it would go right up to the top so that I could just keep up with the books that I am reading. Uh, as, However, they're not going as in the books that I most recently read as as I am adding them to the page because then I started I just decided to kind of sort them into the ratings that I chose to give it so okay so then after that I decided to just sort them through their star rating so the highest rating books that I'm going that I read are going to be at the very top just so that I know like my favorite books are always going to be at the top and it's going to be like a priority to look at my favorite books. For example, this month, my favorite book was definitely Entwined by Heather Dixon. And I'm pretty sure that my teacher's essay book is also going to be a five star because I just, I like it. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically the way that they are sorted. And then lastly, they are sorted by the date that they were added. So for example, Ichiro and The Lion, The Witch and the Wardrobe were books that I, that are both four stars. But I added Ichiro by Ryan and Zena first because, well, I, I added them by, I started writing them in just looking at the bookshelf right here just so that I could know which ones I read first. We got the title in here, title and author, because I didn't really want to have another section for the author. Because I mean, there's people who have this separated also by author, so all of Sarah J. Mass's books would be like grouped together and stuff but I don't I don't feel like there's a need to do that I mean I would love for there to be a need to do that but like I don't maybe I'll just make a separate page for that sometime in the future I don't know I feel like it's too much and I really like the organization actually I might make a separate page like a separate view of my reading stats just for like the author view but I might do that later anyway um after that I did genre and details so I did a bunch of genre and details and I decided to color, to color coordinate the first three uh, the first three categories and I did struggle a little bit to find a place for the three categories because okay the first category is the uh, I guess the target audience and um, it's either it's either a children's book a middle grade book a young adult or an adult book and uh, those are all in red then we got the series or standalone series is either duology, trilogy, 
endless or if it has a uh, complement novels then it's also going to be into a, in, it's going to be into the series category and well standalone this is a standalone book there's literally like no science to it then then uh there's biography poetry play essays memoir philosophy historical fiction nonfiction, fiction graphic novel and manga so these are just like the format that the book is written in um i did kind of struggle to see, to find out and to figure out if the genres also could come into the format and just you know just trying to organize that was a little bit was very fun because i like organizing things i don't know if i'm going to be able to keep up because i like organizing things but i just can't keep up with them myself so it just makes me think that i should probably do that for other people and and they should pay me to make like their notion pages all really pretty and then they should be the ones to keep up with it because like I, I, I can't keep up with my notion um i try to keep up with my calendar but i couldn't anyway back to this uh <laughs> so embarrassing okay then well there's just genres general genres and i know that as i start reading more books i will start adding in more genres because i'm most i'm pretty sure i forgot about most for example when i was filling in for the devil in the white city um, I added the crime uh, genre because I didn't really own any crime books except for that one. Or when I added 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, I added magical realism as a category because I just, I, I hadn't figured out that I had to. Well, I mean, uh, Dear Heart's Love by Soyo, and this is also magical realism. Just the very basic was, you know, romance, fantasy, coming of age, mystery, suspense, uh, science fiction, classics, dystopia, thriller, horror, adventure, political, comedy, Magical realism and crime. So those are just the only ones that I got. And um, these would only apply to fiction books or to, I don't know, historical fiction books or a play or maybe a poetry collection that has its, a, its center um, theme romance uh, or love. I would, I would add that, but <clears throat> or a manga or a graphic novel. Um, that's also a memoir, well, but, um, yeah, if I can find another way of adding a new organizing category, I definitely will. And I'll just make a notion for some time. Um, I also wanted to update that I only have an hour and 43 minutes left on Day by Day Armageddon. And that's literally the only thing I've been doing all day because I've been doing, like, cleaning and organizing and just stuff like that so i will come back to you once i have another reading update march 6th 0322 hours i woke up a half hour ago and cannot get back to sleep so i decided to check the shoreline with So, well, sorry, while my tea is brewing, I am going to be updating you. So this is the, I want to say the start. I don't want to say the start because it's not the start. I mean, I already started the reading vlog, but I started it like four days ago. So, yeah, um, last night, the 2nd of March, I showered. <laughs> I showered and I finished my teacher's essay book on Satanism and just a bunch of his views over the last 10 years or so and it's just a bunch of his essays yeah and it was great i give it five stars i mean it's not on goodreads but like i would give it five stars if it were my my choice so it was very nice i liked it it was nice for a change i analyzed the fuck out of it and i'm so happy i'll show you the tabs in a minute um i'm going to start the devil in the white city by eric larson because i've just been dying to start that one I've been dying to get into that one. I think my tea is done. But anyway, since today I have mostly reading scheduled, 
um, I have to read and have some tea from 9 to around 10.30 or 9 to 11. And then I have work to do in the evening. And then I have studying to do in the evening. And then I have another batch of reading to do in the evening. And that, like, Wednesday is the most laid-back, action-packed, laid-back, work-packed day that I have currently. So I'm just going to strain my tea and see how that goes. But yeah, I'm so excited. It's almost 9, so I'm just doing my tea so that I can go upstairs and read. And I'll make another video, maybe next week or something, about my tabbing and annotating process. And I'll be just so happy to share it with you guys. Also, the climate, the weather is very cloudy today and it's my favorite kind of weather so I'm gonna enjoy it I'm gonna use this contraption to try and get my tea strained so we'll see how that goes oh, I'm scared okay I have I was rightfully scared okay <laughs> No, this is actually working. I'm making a huge mess, but like, whatever. This is the current situation, and it's not that bad. I'm supposed to start at 4. I'm supposed to start studying at 4, but I'm already a little late and it's fine. But I just want to tell you that <coughs> my mom and I went to the supermarket and I bought a plant. I already asked Reddit what this plant was and somebody told me it was a red dragon flower. So now I have the proper, now I know how to take care of it because I looked it up online. So partial sunlight, water it sometimes. It needs well it needs drainage. So I this is a pie came in and I'm pretty sure it's got well it's well drained. I feel like this will fall off and I want to put it in more soil so that I can have more plants. I'm already a plant mom. I called it Carol. Um I'm not completely on the name yet. But I'll probably it'll probably grow on me. So this is Carol. She's cute. I don't know where to put her yet because uh, it's got a strong smell. So it's better to put it outdoors, or so I read. Um, but the balcony is not mine. But I do get up there every single day, so I might put her in the balcony. I'm gonna go study because it's already a little late and I have to do that. And then I'll go reading because I bought more tea. I bought my normal chai tea, I bought green tea, and I bought cinnamon and something else too. I'll try that one today. So I woke up a little late today. I woke up at 8.30 and instead of 7 a.m. because I was just super tired from yesterday, I did my babysitting. I did some babysitting yesterday, so I was like so tired. <laughs> Came back home really late uh, and I wasn't even paid, but I'll get paid. like later on anyway i'm not salty it's just a funny comment yesterday i did kind of a lot of reading kind of i mean i didn't do lots and lots and lots of reading but like i did progress and i think that's very important uh first things first on 100 years of solitude i read one chapter which means that 
and on page 47 47 of around 457 456 so i'm proud because i might be able to finish it this month and i'm just trying to bask in the re in the writing because it's it's really nice i like it it's it's comforting it's very very comforting it's very warm I feel like it's very very warm and i still don't know where the story is going i just know that it's just it's just like chronicles and that's why i'm taking my time with it because it's just so beautiful and warm and and it's like a warm hug and i like it so that's why i'm taking my time with it also, The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson is getting so good. We're already getting introduced to H.H. H. Holmes and as you can see, I did a couple notes. I did two notes, like I mean two full-on notes within 50 pages and that's great. That's great because Eric Larson's writing is very particular, so I'm a fan currently um i'm 50 pages through by the way so i'm 50 pages through both of these books zombie fallout by mark tufo i'm really liking it so far i'm only five hours i only have five hours left of it so that's comforting that's exciting because i'm listening to it at 1.3 speed at first i was listening to audiobooks at normal speed and then um i kind of started gradually getting the speed a little bit up uh so 1.3 is a very very comfortable speed for me um i started the book at 1.2 speed and when i was in the supermarket yesterday i thought well why not let's just amp the speed up a little bit and there wasn't much change but i knew i could tell it was faster so i just decided to leave it there and get used to that until i decided it was a little too slow for me and then i would go and you know put on a little more weight on that <laughs> so yeah I'm really enjoying them. So I'm really enjoying it so far because the book doesn't take itself very seriously. I love the way that it um, plays. I love the banter it has with its reader and with itself. The narrator, I think his name is Michael, Michael Talbot. Yeah, Michael Talbot. I'm kind of liking his character. At first, it was good, then it was kind of bad. Now I'm just getting the hang of, of his personality. I was also thinking about starting a nonfiction book today. Or maybe, yeah, maybe just starting a nonfiction book. Or something. I don't know. I want to start something else. I, I just, I just, it's, now it's an addiction. I've never started so many books before. And now that I started a book, now that I have four books in the going. No, I have three books in the going. Now that I have three books in the going, I kind of want to start more books and just see how many books i can get to and it's getting to an addiction point so i'm gonna see how much i can handle uh <laughs> Estimates claim that nearly 3,000 people nationwide and 15,000 people worldwide have died of the h1n1 virus This was my room a year ago. I was reading a little bit of The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. And oh my god. I've been getting really distracted because it's really hot today. I don't know why. We're literally in March and it's so hot. It's almost 30 degrees Celsius right now and it's really sunny. I've only gotten like 20 pages through because it's so hot. I can't really concentrate. So I'm going to go make some tea. I was debating either coffee or tea, but um, I'm trying to keep my consumption one cup a day <laughs> because I used to drink two cups a day, even three sometimes. So like it's gotten certain effects on my brain and I've been talking about that for a couple of videos already. But anyway, it's getting really good. The architectural aspect of this is very boring to me because I'm not, I'm not really into the logistics of the fair, I'm more into H.H. H. Holmes, so I'm extremely interested in the parts where Eric Larson talks about him, but just about the fair, even though I feel like, yeah, okay, it's a, it's an event that is heavily linked to the murders of H.H. H. Holmes, but I mean, I'm not really interested. I kind of zone out during those. I, 
tried I have to reread like three times because it just kind of zone out. But that doesn't make it a bad book. It just makes it, you know, I just I really don't it's not interesting to me as much as H. H. Holmes himself is. So I've been tapping a couple more moments as you can see and I've been trying to write up a video on how I annotate which is just the fucking sn the snobbiest video I've ever made and I recognize that and I made it to be snobby because I feel like we can have nice things and I feel like I can rant about those things very nicely so I'm gonna go downstairs make some tea try to get to a place in the house where it's kind of cold because it's really hot in here and I'm really not feeling it I might order some iced coffee uh, maybe i'll tell my mom to buy me an iced coffee instead maybe i'll go for an iced coffee i'll go in the car it's not really that far away i'm tired now because uh well it's just decaf uh decaf Targona. and oh my god look at that look at that it's spilling oh god that's just, this is so majestic i will literally this is the best trend to come out of tiktok And I wasn't even in for I wasn't even there for it. Like I didn't even have TikTok when this shit came out. I learned about it from a friend. And oh my god. Ah <laughs> this looks so good. Like I legit will swear on this forever. I ignore the pack of blueberries. I had to take it out to Gax to the ice. Oh my god, there's so much. Look at that, look at that. Oh, yeah. Great. Okay, let me just... I just get a grip. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, God. So majestic. Oh, my God. Would you look at that? It's, kind of, it's still spilling. <gasps> Still spilling. Oh my god, that looks so good. But that's because the lens is really dirty. <laughs> it looks dreamy though. Anyway, I'm trying to read and my neighbors, I don't know where. There must be neighbors like maybe in the next street over. They're having like a party. At 6 p.m. So I can't really concentrate. <laughs> I just moved to my office because yeah, they're they're dancing. Their singing has gotten progressively worse. So I just I I just decided to move back here. Um, it's a mess. But since I'm not working here anymore, like I'm currently working in my room for a while just to have a break of this. Um, since I'm currently just working there, I'm going to use my office for reading now. I'm just pausing the reading a tiny bit so that you know that this is what like I'm laying down on the couch. Okay, I don't know if you can envision it, <laughs> and this is what my chest looks like when I'm annotating. You can see pens, you can see sticky notes, and you can see flags, and you can see my pouch right there. Yeah, this is what it looks like when I'm annotating. <laughs> and it's kind of convenient, also kind of inconvenient. But you know what? Oh shit. It's pretty good. I just did some fresh annotations as well. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm barely on page 82. Which is pretty slow for me, but I'm just really savoring in the writing and it's non-fiction. So I'm reading this as I would read an encyclopedia. Well, not an encyclopedia. I don't read encyclopedias like what the fuck. But I'm reading this the way that I would read a, you know, a Wikipedia page. <laughs> or the way I would research about a topic. And I might, I don't know, I might just make an entire video on this because it's very, very interesting. I love it.
call me boiled eggs and like, ah, it's perfect. I didn't even break it. By the way, this is a mess that I made, but like, Uh, yeah, uh, as you can see, I went to the greenhouse and, well, it wasn't even a greenhouse. It's outdoors, but I got a new plant and it's currently on the balcony just basking in the sun because the guy said it was a sun plant and that I had to water it every single day, which new responsibility, I am in love. I love new responsibilities and, okay, it's going to sound really funny. You guys know I'm an atheist going on satanic beliefs um and well my brother one of my brothers my middle brother you know uh, i always talked about how my my oldest brother is the married brother and you know he's got a child and everything so my middle brother has a girlfriend who is just uh he's all she's a lot older than him no not a lot just a couple of years but uh, she's very into spirituality and he is too into card reading and stuff like that so um she also does like reductive massages you know with machines that you can find in the united states were really really expensive and she does it for a little cheaper so i got those reductive massages she actually told me that i have to work out so um i might learn a couple of dances this week <laughs> so i could burn off the fat but anyway, um, she also, my brother told me, hey, you should get your, your chakras aligned. And I was like, well, I mean, why not? It's an experience. I have to get it once. So she made a card reading for me. And one of the things that the card reading said was that I needed to get plants. You guys know that I got a cactus in this vlog. I'm pretty sure I got it in this vlog. And also, I... I just got a new plan because I, I'm just I'm just really wanting to get into plans. I need a new responsibility, and uh, I will read them read more of both books that I'm currently reading. And I will start The Hobbit because I've been meaning to get into that for a long time. I want to get into The Hobbit so that I can get into a new classic, since I would be studying literature, and I'm also going to be study studying political sciences. So. I'm wondering if I should go book shopping for uh, Greeks and philosophers on politics. Just that I'm a little more soaked into that too. The exam, I have to know when I'm when I'm doing the exam. And yeah, so through, I'm on page 129 of The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. And I haven't picked up 100 Years of Solitude in like a week. And I haven't been listening to zombie fallout in a few days so i have to really get into my reading a little more i woke up early today i went and checked how my grades were doing and hopefully tomorrow or the day after tomorrow i will have out, out i'm a school graduate so i'm excited Hello. So, um, I'm taking a little break from reading A Hundred Years of Solitude to make some tea. And I'm gonna have a snack. I don't know what kind of snack I'm gonna have. Probably something sugary because I'm in the mood for that. I hate how those things creep so much. But, you know, this is a very, very good publishing house. It's a really, really good edition of, uh, because I try to break the spine so that I can read like so i can read not even better but just so that i can see the spine broken and i had to like forcibly just do this because the spine just won't break and i can read so great like you know the binding is like this yeah i don't know if you can see the binding but that's the way it is so it's really good um i i've been reading over 40 pages of it you know throughout the day. I've also listened to a chapter of the, you know, the zombie fallout book by Mark Tufo and it's getting really, really interesting. I don't know what's gonna happen, but it's getting super, super interesting and I am really excited. I'm like halfway through it, I'm pretty sure. I'm a little over halfway through it. 
and yeah and on this one i'm barely going to go on page 100 i'm on page 97 no page 96 97 the devil in the white city by eric larson that one i am on page like 121 or something and yeah and i want to start the hobbit <laughs> because i feel like i want some magic by the way if you can hear anything my dad's snoring upstairs oh on my plant i named her violet because she's a violet i don't know what her kind of plant is but i love her so much <laughs> she is um she's a violet of course she's violet colored and then there's carol who is my little desertic cacti plant and it looks great it doesn't look great great but it looks nice it looks like i bought it's just it looks just like i bought it i realized that, that is the way that i i can't teach her soil because that's the way that the um greenhouse that i went to also had those kinds of, ta of cacti and i had it in the sun yesterday by accident so i'll just keep it in the shade for a while and maybe i'll water it tomorrow or the day after tomorrow because i think that the day after tomorrow will be around a week Oh my god, how am I going to water my plant? Oh, I'm going to tell my dad to water the plant because I'm also going to my parents' hometown. So it's kind of like my hometown, but not really. You know, lately my obsession, and I mean obsession in, in the best way possible because it's it's true, like has been anything with peanut butter i don't know why but ever since i started eating peanut butter like a year ago or two i started eating peanut butter two years ago and ever since i started i just can't stop it's just so good and addicting and i know it's not the best for me especially skippies skippies is especially bad for you but i mean it's the cheap one and it's so good like i'll, I'll literally just dip a cookie and just eat it like that because it's just so good i don't know why and by the way this is chai tea and milk which is my favorite combination ever it's almond milk it's silk almond milk vanilla flavored no sugar i don't know why i'm oddly specific but i like it like that and yeah and i kind of also like to dip it <laughs> so i like to dip a cookie in the tea because i feel like i'm dipping a hot chocolate or or warm milk or something and it just makes it better <laughs> okay let's go to go i haven't ever tried it but okay like like with dipping it in tea with peanut butter and stuff so let's see what the fuck i just created a masterpiece hi guys so i just want to end the reading vlog right here by updating you guys on how i'm doing on 100 years of solitude today is march the 10th and i'm pretty sure i started this vlog let me see if you can hear some whirring you're on top of my computer oh shit i started this 10 days ago yes um and i am currently on page 141 of 100 years of solitude and as you can see i'm really enjoying it tapping a couple things and it's going really well i am in love with the writing style i love how he just somehow starts rambling i mean the writer garcia marquez i love how he just kind of starts rambling at a point and you know he introduces this new character and he's like okay this character has been here for so long and then he starts rambling about the entire story of the character and it's not slow and it's not it's not boring because his writing style is so rich and powerful and i'm just in love i love him there's just a couple of things that i tabbed because they were beautiful a couple of things that i tabbed because they were like shocking and stuff uh, I'm not using my method for tabbing and stuff. I didn't use my actual tabbing system for this because I know that this I'm gonna have to read for my syllabus on Hispanic literature. Well, I just wanted to tab the things that I like so far and that I could comment on anytime that I could love to research and I would love to just kind of maybe have them written somewhere because I just love them. This edition does not have an author's note. It's just the book, and this is actually, Diana is such a good editorial. They have all of Gabriel Garcia Marquez's books, and they also have their illustrated editions because there are a couple editions that he kind of teamed up with an artist 
to also illustrate throughout and it's like a storybook kind of thing but it's the entire story just with a lot of illustrations and I just love it I'm also gonna buy um other works of his because they are in my in my local bookstore El Amor en los Tiempos del Cólera Una Crónica de una Muerte Anunciada just stuff like that and I don't know I think I think they're translated just like that you know Love in the Times of Cholera and Chronicle of, an, of a Timely Death or something like that I don't know <laughs> but anyway I'm super happy with, with what I am reading I'm so happy that I spent an entire day yesterday just dedicating myself to this book because I I was on page like 40 when I started this I was on page 47 and now I'm on page 141 so I got into a hundred more pages of it all day yesterday well not all day but I had quite a few um I also listened to a lot of zombie fallout especially when I was working out I listened to an entire chapter I listened to a chapter when I was cooking and I'm not almost done with it I still need around three hours to finish it so I might finish it because um, we're going on a road trip, my mom and I and my aunt and my cousin for one of my aunt's birthdays out, um, outside of town and we are going, it's an 8 hour trip, <laughs> it's an 8 hour car ride so I am going to be listening to um, a couple books on the way because I can't read, I tried reading on the road last Christmas and I just got like way too dizzy and I, I didn't know why at the start but I figured out that it was because I was reading <laughs> in the road and I just got really dizzy. But anyway, thank you much. Thank you so much for watching. And if you liked it, of course, you can subscribe and ring the bell for notifications and just do all that shit. Um, yeah, love you guys.